Good morning. It's Saturday and it's a frosty morning here in Wisconsin. And I'm in a mood to do a like a just a live pop-up drawing class with you guys. So I thought I would do that really quick. Um, well, not necessarily really quick, but um, yeah, I was working on some ideas. And then I thought I should show people how easy it is to do this. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today with you guys. <clears throat> I'm still drinking my coffee, so if it's your first time here, welcome. Um, I'm an artist. I, I love teaching people. I've done live in-person classes for years, and now I'm doing everything online. So, um... If you want to follow along with me, just grab like a sketchbook or, you know, even just a piece of, a couple pieces of paper. I'm going to use a, like a kind of semi-dry Sharpie and, um, you know, maybe grab a pencil or marker or something. Good morning, Tammy. And um, turn the camera down and, and we'll get started. So um, I'm going to be upside down for a second, but I can fix that. And what I want to show you, good morning, Tammy. Did I say good morning already? Oh, I don't know if I did or not. Uh, what I want to show you is once you kind of get the premise down of, you know, of, of this, you can change your gnome dude and add anything you want. And what's nice about them is their hands are so easy and the feet are so easy. They're just ovals, really. Well, this hand is kind of holding a sign. So, um, but that's actually very easy. It's like, kind of like Mickey Mouse hands, <laughs> you know? Um, so, that is what we are going to do now. And um, I was thinking if you would sprinkle this, and you guys hopefully know what sprinkle means. I will um, send you, let's see, how can I do this? I can send you a template. Um, if you sprinkle this video, um, I will offer you a, uh, you know, a template that you can grab and download and print out and it'll be your base for creating all this stuff. So I'm gonna show you the um, ins and outs of like how to make the main one Maybe you won't even need the template, but um, sprinkle anyway. <laughs> um, and then you can go crazy with it and add all different things to your guy. Basically, think of it like a snowman. And if you go on Pinterest and look at all the different ways people have painted snowmen or done illustrations of snowmen, you can do the same thing with a, with a gnome dude. I call him a gnome dude. <laughs> you can do the same exact thing. Here's candy canes. Here, he's holding two of those old-fashioned lanterns. You could have him holding one lantern if you want. Uh, here, he's in a snowman suit, and he's got a stack of gifts next to him and some strung lights above him. Here, uh, I just took the same Santa cap and changed it up a little bit and put, you know, the ball on top and the reindeer antlers. Um, and I'll show you how to add a body onto him. All right, so let's get started. Um, this gnome dude I did in my membership. Sorry, I've got notes written down from when I called about um, the, the animal hospital to call, <laughs> to call about getting services for my dog. So there's all kinds of weird notes on here, don't mind that. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Grab yourself, you know, a, a piece of sketch paper or something and, and follow along with me. This is super easy. Okay, so you basically, I start with the nose. <laughs> Just start with a circle. Let me put this. We're going to start with a circle, right? I'm going to draw these a little bit bigger so that it shows up on here. You just start with a circle. And then we really don't ever see the eyes. So you just kind of do an arc like this to represent the bottom of 
his hat, right? And maybe put the sides of the hats. And all I'm doing now is trying to make it symmetrical as I'm going, right? So this could be a fall cap or a snowman cap or, you know, any, anything at all. And I'm picturing his head here. I'm picturing that his head is, you know, about like that big. So then the cap would need to be around that size. The rim sticks out a little bit beyond, right? This guy has cute little ears and, and long, um, the yarn pull coming out the side. So I'll show you that real quick. You just basically put these fun ears on there, right? Easy peasy. And then we come back here. You find the center and you draw this little tick mark like that. Thank you for sprinkling, Tammy. You put this, you find the center, put this little tick mark coming down like that, and then it's going to go like this, right? And then I'm going to come out here and I'm going to draw an arc coming down like this for his beard. And again, you might want to even draw a, a line to find the center. And, you know, you can, you can decide how long you want to make his beard. I mean, it looks, really, it looks like a Santa, you know? How easy, right? Um, I like putting the mustache on, so I kind of copy this curve, come in a little bit, copy that curve, copy the curve on this side, only it's shorter now. And then I connect it to this, and that's how you do that, that mustache. Okay, easy peasy, right? Um, you can have um, lines, like pretend like they're all pointing to the center here, these lines coming up. Maybe it's a knit cap. And then, okay, let's, let's say that our gnome dude is going to be holding a sign. And maybe what I'll do is I'll make the sign a little bit wider. So maybe this'll, this'll say, let it snow. Let's, let's do that. So I'm actually gonna write out, um, let's see, let it snow. How wide would that be? You can even do it on another piece of paper. So my sign would need to be this big, right? And that's the sign he's gonna be holding. Thank you, Christy. Easy peasy, right? Yeah, it's almost too easy. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have fun coming up with different things he could be holding and different accessories and different scenery behind him, different ways of doing his body. So, so stay with me and you'll see all these fun ideas. And I wanna hear some of your ideas too. Maybe he'll be skiing. Maybe he'll be putting lights on a tree. What are your ideas? All right, so um, let's go ahead and put this here, about like this. So this is the sign, and it's gonna be let it snow, right? Of course, you're not gonna see the bottom of the beard unless you decide later that you would like to make the beard longer. You could change your mind. It might look cuter to have it come down, to have his beard come down like this and be a little bit longer even. Totally up to you. All right. So you would pretend this isn't here. <laughs> So now to put the hands on, you know, the hands, the thumbs are on the top. So we're just gonna draw like a little C shape, right? It's kind of covering the corner of the wood. And then the hand is gonna wrap around. It's gonna kind of come like this and go like this.
That's his hands. And then his sleeve comes around like this. Starts, starts coming out of the thumb, comes out, goes around like a circle. Think of, think of Mickey Mouse, those like cuffs. Okay, and then his arm, I kind of made his arms a little bit bigger, but that's okay. His arms just kind of connect where the hat meets the beard. His arms just kind of connect right there, right? And then his body comes out of here. I'm making a kind of a bigger dude this time, right? So here's his body. Now you can make him really short like I did here, or you can make him taller like I did here. You know, like here with this one, he's got these, um, these are kind of witch legs, you know, to have the black and white stockings, but you can make him have, you know, dwarf looking legs <laughs> if you'd like. So maybe we'll do these. I kind of, I think I want to um, make this one like a, a Santa costume or a snowsuit. So like, um, yeah, we'll do a snowsuit. This is a snowsuit, believe it or not. <laughs> so the way that I do this one, again, I go back to the center point here. And don't worry about how long the beard is. We don't wanna point right to his crotch. We can always change, change that up, but we just need to find um, the center there, right? And do this horse, horseshoe shape. And then you just kind of come down and draw his legs. You can make them, you know, fat like that. Maybe that's going to look a little bit better. Okay. Something like that. And then you just do the shoes. Kind of think of Herman Munster. It's like the letter D. You can round it a little bit too. But that look how easy that is, right? So easy. Yeah, like elf legs. <laughs> exactly. Um, and you can make him thinner than that too, if, you, if you'd like. So probably what I would do now is I might come back in and make the beard even bigger. You know? far with the sign and um, let's see where's my other oh here it is okay and um, you could have the fun tassels coming down too if you'd like so that would basically come out of this same point you know to give it a fun little something right they could even have little pom-poms on the end if you want <laughs> hey sue how are you so so there's that one this is the cute um snowsuit with the funny i don't know what these hats are called but there, there's, so there's the first one, right? And that, that is basically the principle on how you do a gnomey dude, a gnome dude. Very, very easy, right? So let's do another one now. Let's do, um, I think the only part that really is maybe slightly challenging is the hands. So um, that's what I'm gonna maybe spend some time on with you to show you that's not as hard as you think. So I've got the hands in a few different positions for these, these things. Here, his arm is going up so he can hold the old fashioned lantern. So I'm gonna show you that one now. All right, so we'll slide this over a little bit if I can make some room for myself. Slide him over and let's do another one right here. And be sure to sprinkle this. Um, and then if you sprinkle it, I will send you a link to get one of these 
um, templates. I'll send you a template. What size, now if you were gonna paint this, you guys, what size would you do it at? This one, I didn't even think about the size. His legs might be a little big. Um, let me grab a canvas and see. He's, it's, I think it's too small for a uh, 16 by 20, but it would probably fit perfect on a 12 by 16. Let me grab a canvas. Or an 11 by 14, I bet. Sorry about that. I grabbed some canvases from my shelf unit over here. All right, here, here's an 11 by 14. Yeah, probably 11 by 14. That's what I was thinking. And it's a little bit big for that. So I can shrink this down to make it fit on an 11 by 14, just perfect. And that, how cute would that be? What background would you paint? What background color would you paint? Definitely, I would put snowflakes, right? I would definitely put dots, <laughs> right? Dots of snow. Um, you could even put, here's, a, here's like a hill. You could even put um, some trees behind him, right? So let's do, um, let's do a tree here. You know, you could have trees like that. Maybe another one back here. Going behind him. Oops, I'm drawing in his sleeve, I didn't realize. Maybe another one back here. Let it snow. And then you could have snow on the trees. Snowy hills, exactly. Yes. How fun would that be? Now I want to paint this. <laughs> and he could be in a red suit with um, a black sign, white lettering, uh, red hat. Maybe it's a plaid hat, right? What would you do on yours? How would you paint yours? So... Yeah, 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 I think that'd be really cute. All right, so let's take the same idea and um, we'll do a lantern. We'll, we'll do a guy, yep, we'll do a guy holding a lantern next, okay? All right, so same thing. We're gonna start. You know what, let's do this. Let's make him fit on an 11 by 14 this time. Okay, so there's my 11 by 14. And very first thing we're going to start with is, um, hopefully I'm going to make this fit right. So the nose is just a little bit above the center. You're going to find the center. And the nose is gonna be just a little bit above the center, maybe right about here. I always start with the hat. Right? Um, picture his head. He's got a big old noggin. And the hat's gonna come up and, you know, it's gonna be one of those stocking, the stocking type. You know, you can decide how long or whatever, right? And then you find the center point and you make the, 
the C shape, right? Then we're gonna draw the beard coming out. And we come down like that. Draw this one. And you know, you could you could paint your canvas with a with a ground color, you know, whatever. Like you could paint the whole canvas dark blue and then you could use white chalk to draw this on there. And the chalk will wipe off if you make a mistake and you want to change your mind and redraw a part, you know, so don't don't worry about that. Um, all right, and then he could just be like in a nightgown type type deal. So I always go to the center and basing everything off the center. So he's basically going to be wearing like a nightgown. Maybe he's holding up a light for Santa. And now I'm putting the feet so that I know about how wide I want his body to be. Then this comes straight from here and his nightgown kind of goes up and attaches over here with like a soft curve to it. Cause yeah, it didn't even guys wore nightgowns back in the old fashioned times, right? <laughs> All right, so um, now he's gonna be holding up a lantern. So his shoulder's right around here, right? Actually, his shoulder could come from right around here. Something like that. And then we're gonna put his cuff in. I don't know why, but I like having a cuff. And then his hand. And you're basically just drawing a mitten. <laughs> and then this lantern we're going to put here. So um, the lantern, and you can go look at references of, of these old fashioned lanterns, but it's, you know, it's kind of drawn ellipse. You know, it's kind of like that. Draw a big old candle in there and a big flame. Something like that, right? And then you just put this hook on there. So the hook's gonna go around the back of his hand and come around the front. Now it's a little bit off. So I probably need to have made his arm a little bit longer. So I'm gonna draw the hook first and then I'm gonna adjust the hand. Should have been more like this. Okay, and then if you don't want to have him have two lanterns, on this one I've got him holding up two lanterns. Um, you could just have one arm going down, you know, at his side. Um, so that would probably look about like, like this. Cuff and arm. There you go. May come up a little higher. Yeah. And he could have a cute pattern on his nightgown. If you don't like the nightgown, you can make him have legs. Very easy to, to make him have legs. Um, you would just basically do this. Draw this shape in here. Legs coming up like this. And he could be in a, I don't know, <laughs> long johns or something. Maybe that's better. So either way. And then he could have a really cute pattern on his pajamas. <laughs> and he could be skinny or a little bit fat. So right here, his arm, I might want to pull it in so that it's tucked up against his body. Um, also you could do it as a really tall canvas and you could have the hat going, you know, straight up like this instead of, instead of this, you could have the hat going up like that. You could do all kinds of fun patterns and everything on there, right? So that's, that's the guy with the lamp. Um, and then I'm going to do another one in a Santa suit. All right, so let's flip this over.
Which one do you like better, you guys, out of these two? We've got the Let It Snow dude. Let It Snow sign with the silly hat. And then we've got the guy with the, and, and you could do the same thing here. You could put, you know, maybe he's on a, a path. Um, or maybe he's, maybe he's in the living room, you know, waiting for Santa. I don't know. Um, you could put a little cottage back here, mountains, greenery, whatever. You like the one with the lamp? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Tracy likes to let it snow. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got the let it snow guy. We've got the, the lamp guy. <clears throat> Um, with the pajamas. So this is definitely a night scene, in my opinion, right? Yeah, you'd want a night scene. And um, it could have stars and a moon. This could even be a Halloween, believe it or not. I mean, why not? You could make it Halloween-ish. He could have um, an orange and black um, costume on. Oh my goodness, possibilities are endless. You could have a, a, a crazy haunted house behind him, right? And you could have a nice glow coming off the lantern. So uh, next, let's see. What should I do next, you guys? I've got, um, you could do it inside of a snow globe. You could do, um, here, he could be skiing. I was thinking of skis, but instead I, make the, I made him candy canes. Um, so do you want me to do the candy cane one? or the Santa one with the gifts. Which one do you guys like better? And remember, if you sprinkle this video, you guys know what it is to sprinkle, I will send you the link for a free template drawing of my Nomi dude. And once you have the base down, you can do all these fun different things from what I'm showing you here today. Um, on the back side, I've got some Halloween ones. You could turn his arms inward and have him holding anything you want. Here, he's. these are sunflowers, you can't really tell. So this can be any time of year. Here, he can be holding, you know, sunflowers. Here, he's holding a pumpkin. He could have black and white stockings on. Kind of wish I had painted this already. He, for 4th of July, he could have a patriotic heart. For Christmas, he could have a snowman in his hands. So many things you could do. Okay, so you guys want the candy cane one? Okay, let's do the candy cane dude. Candy cane, know me dude, coming up. <laughs> um, all right, so that looks like that would be on an 11 by 14 again. So let's do that. I'm going to draw my 11 by 14 square on here. Oh, thank you so much for sprinkling. Thank you, thank you. Everybody that sprinkles is going to get a link to get this free template. Okay, so there's my 11 by 14. Thank you, Tracy. So it's 11 by 14. And we're gonna do this guy right here. So he's holding up two candy canes. Now you can change it out and make them skis if you'd like. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Aren't they adorable? I know, and can you just imagine all the different ways you could paint these? That's why I figured it'd be cool to do a drawing. <laughs> How is everyone doing this morning? It's frosty here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. A little bit frosty. <laughs> okay, so here's how we start. We, um, we want to find the center, you know, the approximate center. And his nose is just a little bit higher than the center. So right about here. And I just start with his nose. And they got a big old nose. Cold by you? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Now, oh, this guy is wearing a hood, believe it or not. So um, he could. this could be like a hooded coat. I don't know if I like the hood, to tell you the truth. You know what I think I'll do instead? I think I'll do the antler. <laughs> I 
I'll do the antler cap on him. How's that? Let's do the antler cap. Or should I do one more with the antler Santa suit? Which one should I do? Because if he has a hood on, it should be a coat, right? Well, not necessarily. It could be a hooded snowsuit. I don't know. You know what? Let's do the hood. I'll do the hood. Okay, so the hood, it's, it's going to go kind of around his face. So again, we got the nose. We're going to find the center point, and we're going to do the mustache, right? Kind of do that shape like that. And this time, we're going to do kind of a, a circle. This looks like an animal. Do what you love. Okay, I'm doing the hood. <laughs> and it's going to come out like this, be real puffy. And you could have fun with this, like a puffy, furry hood, right? And then the beard comes out of here, right? And it's going to come down again. We're going to find the center and do this shape. And the mustache kind of mimics the shape. I like having the mustache with it. You don't have to do a mustache if you don't want to. Okay. And then the hood kind of just goes like this right? Um, I think that's what hoods look like. Okay, then same thing. We're going to find his crotch. <laughs> you know, he could have his legs going out at an outward angle or straight up. Right? And then we're going to find, let's see, his arms are going to come out of here. Go straight across. Right? So we can kind of see where his body is. His armpits would be kind of right here, right? Basically doing like a block shape. Come across so that the armpits line up. And he has short, really short legs <laughs> and really short arms. <laughs> um, cuff. I don't know. I like, I like the cuff. I don't know why. Um, then just draw that mitten shape. The thumbs go up. Try and get them the same size. Here's his big old shoes. Or he could have boots on too. He could have black boots. That's another thing. You could make him like Frosty the Snowman with black boots and a top hat, you know, instead. You could do a top hat. And make him like Frosty the Snowman. Okay. Um, all right, and then once you've got his arms, it's really easy to put the um, the candy cane in. So you want it to kind of line up with the crook of his thumb. And they could be some really big candy canes if you'd like. Maybe they're a little bit in front of him now. And I kind of like this guy's body a little bit better. So sometimes it's just a little bit of finessing, you know, um, where maybe I would make him just a little bit thinner. Part of what it is is because I have his legs kind of far apart, but you could definitely make him thinner and make his arms smaller. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I think I want a big ball on his hood. And um, he could even have pockets. Um, 
you know? <laughs> Why not? Maybe there's pockets. Maybe it's, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's pajamas. Maybe it's a jacket. I don't know what it is. Whatever you want it to be. Um, all right, so that's that. This seems like it should be uh, Candy Cane Lane or something. And then you would just put the, the red and white, you know, stripes on the, I have them pointing inward at him on the candy cane. Okay, so that's the, that's the candy cane dude. <laughs> and then the last one is the Santa, and we're going to do the fun hat on him. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do one more rectangle. Of my 11 by 14. Tammy says, yes, the antlers. Okay. Does anybody have any questions so far on, on what I've drawn? And Are you guys drawing these? If you're drawing them yourself, if you're following along, um, I hope you share your little your, your little sketch with me here. Post post them, share them here. <laughs> okay, so there's my eleven by fourteen rectangle again. Let me get another drink of my green smoothie. So this one's a cute little scene where he's standing by a stack of uh, presents. And um, he's kind of got one leg up. <laughs> he's kind of kicking, kicking up. He's got a bell in his hand. Um, you know, you do so many different things. Totally up to you. So this one's going to be just a little bit off center. So I'm going to put his nose right about here. And again, always start with the rim of his hat. It kind of looks like you're drawing an eye. <laughs> Find the center. For that for that mustache um, this comes down like this for the beard here's the hat right here is the um, top of the hat it can come to a point if you want it's like a cap with a big ball and then we're gonna do the antlers on him, right? So the antlers, find two points that line up with each other on the hat. And then they're just gonna kinda of come out like this. And then you just do a curve like that on each side, right? Then another one. All right, so it's like the letter Y, and then another one here. A little bit of space in between. And that's it, that's, that's how easy that is. You can make them fatter and shorter if you want. You could put more antlers on if you want. Okay, so then I'm gonna come back here and do the, the mustache. Right, got to have that mustache. And so now, um, right where the tip of his um, beard is, you're going to basically draw a square. That's his big buckle. The square is around the same size as the nose, maybe just slightly smaller. And that's going to be his um, belt buckle. So um, then I drew his... His belt and that's gonna form his body right and you can make him as pudgy as you'd like and then it comes down a little bit more and there's a big white skirt fluffy skirt there to the bottom of his Santa suit and I'm gonna draw his leg first I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure his leg is gonna be right about here Maybe lined up, come down from the bottom of this point in his mustache. 
Yeah, we could tangle the Christmas lights in his antlers. Great idea. So I'm gonna come down from here and draw the leg here. Not too long of a leg. Right? And we'll do that. That's the part of his leg. Here's the other part of his leg. Now here's his, his crotch is at an angle. It's like two angles. And here's gonna be his other leg coming out. And this leg is just up a little bit, like he's kind of, I don't know, dancing or something. On my little drawing, it's he's kicked up a little bit higher, but oh well. All right, and then he's gonna be holding up. Now he could just be standing there. Maybe he's holding a ribbon. Uh, maybe he's holding lights. Maybe he's holding the bell. I don't. I don't know. Maybe he's just got his arms at his side. This one, I'm just going to put his arm at his side. The cuff. And I'll put this one. We'll have his arm up again, like we did on the other one. The cuff and the glove and then he's here's here's a cute little bell he's ringing <laughs> or he could be holding up a sign you know anything you want okay and then we're going to put the stack of gifts they're kind of going to be tucked behind him a little bit so You know, you can make them as big or as little as you want. Actually, I've got them over here so much to the side, don't I? So, um, maybe I don't want it there. I want it. Actually, I don't want to make it three-dimensional. I'm just going to make it like this. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so there's one and another one and another one this could have a you know a nice big bow on it um, this could have a nice big bow on it right so it's a stack of Little stack of gifts there, and at the bottom I wrote Merry Christmas. And I don't know, maybe there's a Christmas tree behind here. Or maybe that's too much, I don't know. Totally up to you. Um, and then there's like a some lights hanging, so you could go one, two, three and you're just going to draw simple little lights and then some of them can be ornaments coming down too like maybe here would be a good place to have some, some ornaments coming down to fill in that space. Oops, sorry, I wasn't centered. You know, and you could have, um, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's it. So this would be a Santa suit. So this would be, you know, red, black buckle. Yeah, you know, black belt, um, gold there. You could put whatever pattern or color you want on there, on his, um, on the gifts. Um, if you didn't want to do the string of lights, you could do a tangle of lights in his antler, <laughs> like Jean said. Um, so that's it. We've got 
Um, let's see, what do we got here? We got the lead. I still like this one. I really like this one. Tell me what's the best one that you guys like. And also, um, let me turn the camera up. Hey, Carolyn, is there one that I should do a workshop on and do a painting class on that you'd like for me to um, paint with you guys? You could do that. And if so, vote on which one. So here we've got, let me turn the camera so it's the right way because you can't read it. Hold on. All right. Would it be number one, the Let It Snow? Uh, let It Snow sign? Or uh, the Lantern Guy? Hold on, hold on. This would be a snowy night scene. The Maybe he's in his pajamas and he's holding up a, a lamp. Would it be this one? Or would it be the candy cane? The candy cane dude? Or would it be the Merry Christmas Santa? Which one would you guys? Let it snow. Christy says let it snow. Tammy says let it snow. Yeah, there's something about the let it snow guy, isn't there? I know what it is. You guys like the, um, the Christmas trees, don't you? <laughs> All right. Um, I will do that. I think I wanted, I'm dying to paint this now. Carolyn says, let it snow too. We all like the let it snow guy. Do we like him pudgy like that? He looks like a big guy, doesn't he? <laughs> um, now, would you do this on 11 by 14? Because I'll just go ahead and make that the template that I give you if you sprinkle. If you've sprinkled, just comment sprinkled and you guys know what sprinkling means. And then I am going to send you the link to get the free uh, template on drawing this, okay? And I'm gonna make it an 11 by 14. Joan says, let it snow. Okay, good, then this is the winner. And um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put it on my website. If you like them pudgy, okay, good. I'm gonna put it on my website and then I'm gonna go ahead and make it into a, um, a class. And it'll probably be like a $10 just a $10 class um, that you can um, sign up for. It'll be a live painting class and you can ask me any questions if there's something you wanna do to customize it, to add something else to it. I'll sh I can show you how to do that. Um, but yeah, that's it. So go ahead, sprinkle so that your friends can know about this and they can get the free downloadable template and I will let you know when I'm going to have the class. I'll probably have it really soon. Anyway, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a great weekend. When will the class be? Very, very soon, uh, Carolyn. Probably um, maybe even next week. If not next week, the week after. Right? Is that too soon? Because I don't want it to be right around Thanksgiving. Might interrupt our plans, right? And it'll just be live on Facebook. We'll do it one night or something. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'm going to go create this template for you right now. Thanks, Tammy. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Oh, not too soon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye, guys.